एकेडमी डे स्टूडेंट्स सो आज हम मतलब कि ओसो का बुक का uh, आपका टाइम टू आंसर है और जो बाकी uh, आपका जो बुक का आंसर है टेक्स्ट बुक का आंसर है और आपका जो वर्क बुक का भी आंसर है यहाँ पे सब डिस्कशन होगा एक ही वीडियो में सब है मतलब कि हर चैप्टर का जितने भी चैप्टर रहता है वो चैप्टर का टाइम टू आंसर रहेगा और इस चैप्टर का मतलब कि आपका जो टेक्स्ट बुक आंसर रहेगा और उसके बाद वर्क बुक का आंसर रहेगा तो हम मेरे चैनल पे ऑलरेडी मतलब कि जो होली फेथ का जो बुक है उसका जो मतलब कि सारे के सारे टॉपिक का क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर अवेलेबल है मतलब कि साइंस का है एस का है और हिंदी का भी है तो आप लोग अगर होली फेथ बुक फॉलो कर रहे हो तो वहाँ पे जाकर वो प्लेलिस्ट चेक कर सकते हो और वहाँ से आप अपना जो आंसर है लिख सकते हो तो आज से हम अशोका बुक का जो क्वेश्चन आंसर है तो वो सब डिस्कशन करेंगे होली फेथ और अशोका का जो बुक है इंग्लिश का आपका जो टॉपिक है सब्जेक्ट है इंग्लिश सब्जेक्ट का जो टॉपिक है सब इक्वल है और उसमें जो क्वेश्चन आंसर है तो उस वो भी इक्वल टोटल है तो आप लोग वहाँ पे जाकर चेक कर सकते हो क्वेश्चन आंसर मैच कर सकते हो अगर कोई प्रॉब्लम होता है तो इस वीडियो पे आप लोग कमेंट कमेंट कर सकते हो मुझे तो बेसिकली हम स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स और सेवन के डाले हैं तो ये भी क्लास सेवन का साइंस है बट आपका ओसो का बुक का तो ये ओसो का बुक है तो अगर जो भी प्रॉब्लम होता है आप मेरे मेरे से डायरेक्टली कमेंट में लिख सकते हैं तो मैं आपका कमेंट का रिप्लाई ज़रूर करूँगा ओके बहुत दिनों से वीडियो नहीं आया था तो बच्चों ने मुझे बार बार मैसेज करे कि सर अशोका का डालिए तो मैं आज से अशोका का स्टार्ट कर रहा हूँ आशा करता हूँ जैसे कि आप लोग पहले से मुझे सपोर्ट कर रहे थे कि आप मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर रहे थे तो आप अपने दोस्तों के साथ ज़रूर शेयर करना है और उनको बताना भी है और बस मेरे जो सब्सक्राइबर्स हैं तो उसको तो बढ़ाइए और हम लोग बहुत सारे जो क्वेश्चन आंसर करेंगे टोटल चैप्टर कंप्लीट करेंगे तो चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं सो टाइम टू आंसर दिस इज पेज नंबर फोर ओके पेज नंबर फोर सो फास्ट क्वेश्चन द लिप्स अपियर ग्रीन ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ आंसर इज क्लोरोफिल देन क्वेश्चन नंबर बी कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड वाटर रिएक्ट इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ सनलाइट टू फॉर्म ग्लूकोज द डैश टिश्यू कंडक्ट्स वाटर फ्रॉम द रूट्स टू द लिप्स जाइलम टिश्यू एंड देन डी द फ्लोएम टिश्यू ट्रांसपोर्ट्स डैश फ्रॉम द लिप्स टू ऑल पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्लांट दैट इज ग्लूकोज देन ई द बाई प्रोडक्ट ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस इज ऑक्सीजन देन दिस इज पेज नंबर फोर कंप्लीटेड देन कम टू द नेक्स्ट टाइम टू आंसर दैट इज मैच द फॉलोइंग पेज नंबर सेवन सो फर्स्ट ए इज अ मैंगो ट्री मैंगो ट्री इज वट वट टाइप ऑफ प्लांट ऑट्रोट्रफ दैट इज थर्ड आई यू कैन मैच मैच देन मशरूम इज साप्रोफाइड दैट इज साप्रोफाइड वेर इज साप्रोफाइड भी फाइव देन पीचर प्लांट पीचर पार्ट प्लांट इज इंसेक्टिवरस आई एंड कस्कूटा हेट्रोट्रॉप्स एंड ई लिग्यूमी इज सिम्बायोटिक ओके सो नेक्स्ट लेटस प्रैक्टिस दिस इज दिस थिंग फ्रॉम योर टेक्स्ट बुक सो फर्स्ट इज विच ऑफ द विच ऑफ दिस कंडक्ट्स वाटर टू लिप्स आंसर इज जाइलम सेकेंड आई विच ऑफ दिस इज अ नॉट हेट्रोट्रॉपिक न्यूट्रिशन That is answer is I B, holozoic. Then question number C, which of these is a not a parasitic plant? That is cascuta. D. 
which of these not a saprophyte saprophyte cascuta is not a saprophyte that is option 3 which of these is not eaten by insectivorous plant e uh, mushroom third eye right option is mushroom which of these is a not feature of insectivorous plant that is lack of chlorophyll 2 not uh, not a feature of insectivorous plant lack of chlorophyll lacked lack of chlorophyll was which of these is a not required by symbiotic g question which of these is a not uh, required by symbiotic association that is uh, that is oxygen third eye then come to the question number two that is a uh, true false autotrophs can use oxygen to prepare their food that is false then b all heterotrophs lack chlorophyll false then c in lichen algae provides a shelter and a fungus prepare food this is also the false c and d next in pitcher plant digestive juice digest the insect that is a true then option e cascuta feed on dead and a decaying matter that is false only one is a true or uh, another are false then come to the fill in the blanks that is question number three question number three so insective first is insectivorous plant are also called carnivores then dash traps or sunlight for the process of photosynthesis that is chlorophyll only dash benefits in parasitic plant so parasitic plant then d these the attractive colors and appearance of dash plants attract the animals insectivores d and e dash bacteria live in the root noodles of leguminous plant rhizobium f fertilizers contain nutrients like nitrogen or phosphorus and potassium then come to the question number four name the following first is a plant which feeds on insect that is insectivorous plant then a uh, next uh, b a plant which lacks chlorophyll that is saprophytic plant and a bacteria which lives in symbiosis with beans rhizobium then d plants which are associated in lichens that is fungi and algae then e a plant which is a parasite parasitic plant then question number five assertion region based question these questions consists of two statement each leveled assertion and region while answering these questions you are required to choose any one of the four choices so first is both assertion and uh, re uh, region are correct and reason is the correct explanation of assertion so uh, that is a five first i a ka a first i assertion kya diya hai farmers and gardeners add manure to the soil reason is manure content minerals to replenish soil fertility so option five uh, a uh, answer right answer is first i then question b five ka b assertion then uska jo hai answer is also first i then case based questions then come to the case based question six read the paragraph and answer the following question so first is what are the various type of a heterotrophic plants so answer is types 
types of heterotrophic plants are parasitic plants, saprophytic plant, insectivorous plant and symbiotic plants. Then question number B. Which type of heterotrophic plants partially or completely depends on other plants for their nutrition? So parasitic plant partially or completely depend on other plants for their nutrition. Then question number C. Which type of heterotrophic plants obtain their nutrition from the dead and decaying plant and animal matter? Then that is answer is saprophytic plant obtain their nutrition from the dead and decaying plant and animal matter. Then question number D. Which type of heterotrophic plant has special adoption to obtain nutri nutrients from small animals such as insects? So insectivorous plants have special adoptions to obtain nutrients from small animals such as insects. Then case based uh, study is completed. Then come to the very short type questions. So then question number 7 very short answer type question. Name the solution used to test the presence of starch. So first answer is iodine solution. That is answer is iodine solution. Then question number B. Name, name a plant with symbiotic relationship. Lichens, micro, uh, mycorrhizas, leguminous plant such as pea, bean, soybean, lentils, etc. have symbiotic relationship. What is uh, question number C? What is the other name of insectivorous plant? Insectivorous plants are also known as carnivorous plant. The D. What feature of insectivorous plant attract attract an insect? Insectivorous plants often have several attractions such as brilliant colors, sweet secretions, etc. to attract their victims. Then come to the short answer type question, question number 8. So first question is, define autotrophs, heterotrophs and nutrition. So this is question number 8 and we will discuss the answers. So first is, autotrophs are organisms which prepare their own food. Heterotrophs are the organism which depend on their organisms for their food. The process by which an organism takes in food, uses it for its growth and utilizes it to perform other vital activities is called nutrition. Then question number B. Differentiate between autotrophs and heterotrophs. So autotrophs are organisms that prepare their own food through the process of photosynthesis. For example, green plants and blue green algae then heterotrophs are organisms that cannot prepare their own food and they depend upon autotrophs directly or indirectly for nutrition for example all animals insects microbes etc then c question number c why can saprophytes not prepare their own food saprophytes do not contain chlorophyll Hence, they are not able to perform the process of photosynthesis. Then D. What minerals are present in fertilizers? Fertilizers contain minerals such as nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Then question number E. Why do insectivorous plants feed on insects? Insectivorous plants are a green but they grow in soil which is a deficient in nitrogen hence these plants derive a part of their nutrition from small animals or insects by feeding on them then question number nine long answer type question what are the different types of heterotropic nutrition give examples of each key, each kind so answer is different types of heterotrophic uh, nutrition are as follows one is parasitic 
इन दिस टाइप ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन प्लांट्स आर पार्सियली और कम्प्लीटली डिपेंडेंट ऑन अदर प्लांट्स फॉर देयर न्यूट्रिशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल कस्कुटा सैंडलवुड ट्री देन साप्रोफाइटिक साप्रोफाइटिक सो इन दिस टाइप ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन प्लांट्स फीड ऑन डेड एंड डिकिंग मैटर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ सच प्लांट्स आर द इंडियन पाइप एंड कोराल रूट्स द रूट्स ऑफ सच प्लांट कॉन्टेन हंगी दैट सिक्रेट डाइजेस्टिव जूसेस टू कन्वर्ट डेड एंड डिकिंग मैटर इन टू न्यूट्रिय देन इंसेक्टिव वर्स प्लांट इन दिस टाइप ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन प्लांट्स फीड ऑन स्मॉल इंसेक्ट्स स्मॉल एनिमल्स स्पाइडर्स एक्सेट्रा फॉर एग्जाम्पल पीचर प्लांट वेनस फ्लाइट्रैप एक्सेट्रा सिम्बायोसिस सो इन दिस टाइप ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन प्लांट्स लीव एसोसिएशन helping each other and sharing their nutrients and shelter hence mutually benefiting each other some examples are lichens rhizobium bacteria micro microhiza etc so then b question number b differentiate between saprophytes and insectivorous plants so organisms like mushrooms molds and eels yeast which feed on dead and decaying or uh, decaying organic matter are called saprophytes saprophyte lack of uh, lack chlorophyll and thus they cannot prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis the secret digestive juices on the dead and decaying matter converting them into solution and then absorb nutrients from them the plants of which eat small insects spiders etc are called insectivorous plant such plants have a special structure to catch their prey these uh, plants are usually green in color and can prepare their own food but they eat insect because they grow in soil that is uh, deficient in certain nutrients they fulfill their nitrogen requirement by eating insect for example pitcher plant venus flytrap etc then c question number c explain the process of photosynthesis so water is uh, drawn off by the plant root uh, the leaves abs- absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere through stomata then third point the chlorophyll present in leaves traps energy from sunlight the plant uses solar energy to convert water and carbon dioxide into sugar and oxygen the plant emits oxygen into atmosphere the sugars are used by the plant to grow so carbon dioxide plus water then uh, presence of sunlight glucose and uh, oxygen will be released then d what is the importance of photosynthesis so photosynthesis enables a green plant to prepare their own food which they use uh, for growth and survival the extra food gets uh, stored <coughs> stored in form of starch in different part of the plant and uh, all animals depend on plants for their food directly or indirectly next is oxygen which is essential for the survival of all living organism is produced during the process of a photosynthesis next animals and human breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide which is used by green plants to prepare their own food this maintains the balance of oxygen or carbon dioxide in nature it inlets all the food chains or food webs in nature then e how do the farmers make the soil fertile so farmers farmers gardeners so 
sorry so farmers and gardeners add fertilizers manure vermi compost etc to improve the quality of soil the soil is prepared well by adding nutrients before sowing seeds farmer also used natural method of replenishing the soil growing leguminous plants such as beans peas and pulses which are naturally bring with them the association of rhizobium bacteria by fixing the fixing the atmospheric nitrogen rhizobium increase the fertility of the soil the farmers grow legumes either along with other crops such as cereals or alternately with other crops thus the fertility of the soil is maintained so now your textbook question answer is completed so next we are coming to the uh, the workbook so now the workbook question answer so define the following uh, items so first is nutrition the process of taking any food and utilizing it to perform various activities is known as nutrition then stomata these are small openings on the on this uh, underside of the leaves which are which allow exchange of gases saprophytes organisms that obtain food from dead and decaying matter are known as saprophytes symbiosis symbiosis is the as the association between two organism in which both uh, mutually benefits benefit from each other then question number 2 who am i first is green plants <clears throat> second is charles red bands uh, barrens then c is chlorophyll then d is oxygen e is a mushroom uh, f is pitcher plant g is cascota plant you just check this question from your workbook okay then come to the question number 3 short answer type questions <clears throat> so first question is photosynthesis is the process by which green plant prepare their own food using carbon dioxide water energy from the sun and chlorophyll then question number b uh, the plants which cannot prepare their own food and depend on other plant for food are known as heterotrophic plants example cascota pitcher plant and venus flytrap then question number c fungi are non green plants which cannot prepare their own food and obtain food from dead and decaying organic matter fungi usually grow on wooden logs leather object pickles and bread when left undisturbed in hot and humid weather then mushroom is an edible fungus which looks like an umbrella next question number 4 fill in the blanks choosing the appropriate word first is cascota second is hot and humid c is symbiotic then parasitism leg leguminous nitrogen you can check this question from your workbook then section 2 check your understanding multiple choice questions so first i option b the glucose formed as a result of a photosynthesis is a transport transported to various part of the plant with the help of a phloem tissue then next is coals and cotton have leaves which are uh, partly green and partly white variegated leaf uh, is a two colored leaf in which photosynthesis takes place only in the green portion of the leaves then third i d stomata are uh, the small opening on the underside of the leaves which allow gases such as carbon dioxide and oxygen to diffuse into and out of the plant during 
photosynthesis and a respiration it also allows water vapor to diffuse out during trans uh, transpiration then four d photosynthesis enables green plants to prepare their own food which they use for their own growth and survival the extra food gets stored in the form of a starch in different part of the plants then question number 6 a ka iv you can match it b ka third i and you can match it and write then c ka v then d ka v i e ka i f ka v double i z ka two i you can write it in your copy or in your workbook whatever then question number 7 <clears throat> seven is short answer type question so first is autotrophic and heterotrophic are the two modes of nutrition that occur plants in autotrophic mode of nutrition plant prepare their own food using sunlight chlorophyll water carbon dioxide while in heterotrophic mode of nutrition non green plants cannot prepare their own food and depend on other green plants for their nutrition like coscuta while some plants like pitcher plant trap insects to fulfill their nitrogen requirement and are said to be insectivores some non green plants obtain nutrition from dead and decaying organic matter and are known as saprophytes while some plants live in symbiotic association with organ other organisms mutually benefiting each other the next b following are the essential requirement for the photosynthesis that is carbon dioxide water chlorophyll and sunlight then c plant absorb nutrients from the soil and thus make soil deficient in nutrients therefore gardeners need to add manure and fertilizer in soil then d plant have vascular tissues for transporting water nutrients and minerals xylem transport water while phloem transports food in plants then e photosynthesis enables green plant to prepare their own food which they use for their own growth and survival second oxygen which is essential for the survival of all living organism is produced during the process of photosynthesis then f the leaves which are a uh, partly green and partly white are called variegated leaves in these leaves photosynthesis takes place only in the green uh, portion for the leaves g lichens are the organism in which fungus and green algae live in association with each other the fungus get nutrients from the algae and algae get water minerals and shelter from the fungus then section 3 check your application skills look at the following images and answer the following uh, in the same context these are the uh, you can see and write in your uh, workbook this four figure and this thing so that is my uh, mistletoe category parasitic plant bread mold saprophytic lichens symbiotic plant and pitcher plant insectivores plant the next question number b host is a plant on which a parasitic plant attaches itself to get nutrition in parasitic relationship only the parasitic plant benefits the parasitic plant harms the host plant by slowing down its growth however it really skills the host plant then question number c fungi are saprotrophs that secrete digestive juice 
on dead and decaying matter converting it into solution and absorb nutrients from it then d insectivorous plant are usually green in color and can prepare their own food they eat insects because they grow in soil that is deficient in nitrogen they fulfill their nitrogen requirement by eating insects to the question number 9 so you can check this question from your uh, workbook so uh, some fungi live in the root of trees the trees provide nutrients to the fungus and the uh, fungus helps it to wake up water uh, and nutrients from the soil such relationship between organism is storm watch symbiosis then come to the section 4 so uh, check your analytical skills so tell number a uh, the covered part will not turn blue black as this part could not receive sunlight thus no thus no photosynthesis occur in uh, that part and hence no starch form here b the part of leaf which is covered with a cello tip does not change into blue black color due to absence of photosynthesis cello tip blocks the stomata and prevents the diffusion of carbon dioxide into leaves carbon dioxide is an essential requirement for photosynthesis thus in the absence of carbon dioxide no photosynthesis occur c it is clear from the above activity that plants need sunlight for food production d stomata are small openings present on on the on the uh, desired of leaves which help in the gaseous exchange because of which photosynthesis in plants take place stomata allow the entry of carbon dioxide inside leaves which is important for photosynthesis next come to the 11 write true false or the following statement rewrite the false st uh, statements correctly so first is false so right statement is the leaves of venus flytrap are modified into trap like structures the leaves of pitcher plant are modified into pitcher like structures then b Uh, answer is false and the right and the uh, right st uh, statement is the parasitic plant harms the host plant by sowing down its growth then c is true d is true and e is false and the right statement is glucose is the main product of photosynthesis while oxygen is the by product of the process then come to the section 5 evaluator uh, ev evaluate yourself then 12 number plants having deep red violet or brown leaves can carry out the process of photosynthesis because they contain chlorophyll chlorophyll absorbs red or blue light and reflects green light because of which leaves appear to be green in color but sometimes when green pigment is masked by other color pigment like carotene physiocyanin and genethophyll leaves appear in color other than green then 13 number c a uh, pitcher plant is an insectivorous plant uh, which contains chlorophyll that is green in color so they can carry out photosynthesis to synthesize their food by themselves they eat insects to fulfill their nitrogen requirement because they grow in soil that is deficient in nitrogen therefore assertion is correct and reason is not correct then uh, section c case based study so 14 number first i d photosynthesis is a process by which 
so prepare food for plants leaves utilize sunlight to synthesize the food from carbon dioxide and water the sunlight is trapped by green color pigment called chlorophyll present in leaves then uh, second i b living organism which can prepare their own food are said to uh, have autotrophic mode of nutrition they prepare their food with the help of a biological process called photosynthesis algae and plants are example of autotrophs however the organisms which cannot prepare their own food and instead depend on other for their food are known as heterotrophs amoeba and fungi are example of heterotrophs the next is a uh, third i c food can be prepared only by autotrophs by photosynthesis only this food present in autotrophs like plants is eaten by other heterotrophs through various modes on the top of that plants produce oxygen too as one of the end product of photosynthesis which is essential for respiration and thus survival of other living organism so that's it yahi se aapka khatam hota hai Uh, आपका वर्क बुक क्वेश्चन एंड विल ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द टेक्स्ट बुक क्वेश्चन एंड मैं जो चाहता हूं कि आप लोग इसको आपके दोस्तों के साथ शेयर करेंगे और मेरा सब्सक्राइबर जैसे सपोर्ट uh, कर रहे थे मुझे तो वैसा सब्सक्राइबर बढ़ता जाएगा मेरा सो थैंक यू